Because now I have reached all three Forbidden Archives, and I kind of have an idea how to do it. This also affords me the opportunity to see what I learned for my ship log in the third loop, or in the third archive, I mean. Forbidden Archive, Shrouded Woodlands. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. Shrouded Woodlands, a dense forest along the banks of a river. I heard music coming from a candlelit building across the water. I found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. Nice, okay. So I'm still missing Starlit Cove, Subterranean Lake, Sealed Vault, and Reservoir. Fair enough. <coughs> okay. I believe I have all the information I need. Both the achievement and then on one last run to actually beat the expansion, so... Let's autopilot to the stranger once again. <sighs> now it is not no deaths, it is not getting caught. So, things I know. I know I can disable the Watchers if, on whatever I decide is my final entrance, I enter by dying instead of by going to sleep. Which there's a very simple way to do. First things first. Let's get aboard. Kapla! Welcome back and thank you. I'm at about 95% capacity here on day three. I mean, I worked out this morning, went for a run, everything was fine. My voice sounds real bad. I'm still coughing and I still have a runny nose, but I mean, I'm fine. And I give all the credit to the vaccines for the fact that I'm fine. But it's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I do need to think about how to cut this video into YouTube episodes, but that's a problem for later when I'm not streaming anymore. It seemed like it was, for a minute there, like it was pretty determined to actually force me to push it. Which I kind of didn't want to do. Come on. Go up the elevator. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. All right. Yeah, well, what's interesting, I mean, your mileage may vary on interesting. What happened in my house is, um, well, the following. So, my girlfriend went to Austin, Texas for a work trip back the week before Christmas. She was double vaxxed and boosted, so I guess I'll, I'll just call that triple vaxxed. She'd had three doses. All right, um, when she got back, she and the rest of her team had COVID, probably Omicron. They picked it up on that trip in uh, 
on that trip to Austin. So, um, because I had already been exposed and I still lived with my folks at that point, I already had plans to move in with her permanently, like make her house home base, move all my stuff here, all that kind of stuff. The plan was to have that done uh, official for the new year, which, you know, I pretty much did. Um, but I decided I would ride out quarantine with her, her, her isolation period, because I was obviously a close contact. I had been all kinds of exposed before she got sick, and I didn't want to give it to my parents. Well, as it turned out, while I was quarantining here, I did not get sick, um, even though I was with her in this house, the two of us. Uh, the kids stayed with their dad, who, you know, the boy had had his first dose of the Pfizer. He he became eligible for his second dose yesterday, and obviously we're, he, he eventually got COVID, but he's still going to get his next dose <coughs> once his isolation window runs out. But the kids stayed with their dad because none of them were sick. And then I didn't get sick from my girlfriend, but while I was quarantining here, both of my parents got it. And so, um, after my girlfriend's isolation period ended, my parents was still going on, but she took the kids. We, we did like Christmas and everything. And then when it was clear, went up to my parents, like everything was fine. But over the intervening weeks at various points, my girlfriend's parents got COVID. Her sister got COVID. Her brother-in-law got COVID. Her sister-in-law got COVID. One of her nieces got COVID. My parents both got it. My brother and his wife got it. And through all of that, I didn't get it. And none of the kids got it, which was pretty amazing. And then last week, um, a week ago yesterday, um, the older boy got sent home from school because his teacher at school that first week had tested positive for COVID. And then the boy got sick on Sunday and uh, I got sick on Wednesday and his sister got sick on Friday and their dad got sick uh, today. So whatever little mutation happened inside the kid's body is what finally got it through my vaccine. Which is pretty wild. But I tell people, you know, when I, when I went to law school in Chicago, when Tiffany and I, you know, Tiffany and I were married then and she was nannying for the little kids, like, we were sick all the time when we lived in Chicago. And then uh, we moved back to Fort Collins, Colorado, stopped hanging out with kids, didn't get sick, like, ever, for like six years. It was amazing. Then I come here, I start spending time with my girlfriend who has two kids and I'm sick all the damn time again. It's ridiculous. There's just it, something about kids, man. They're fucking petri dishes of disease. Just gets around everything your adult immune system has ever encountered. Man, why, why do I have so much fucking trouble finding this thing? So I know it's left from the bridge I come in on. Right? Like, yeah. I come over this bridge. It's over here. There we go. I took one wrong turn. And look how very wrong it steered me. Hi, Steven! It's good to see you. Welcome back. Okay. I wanted to... I wanted to go ahead and spawn the bridge while I was here. Oh, very good. Okay. Time to wake up. All right. Now out, back out in the real world. 
We're gonna head over to the tower entrance to the simulation. All right, it begins. So if you watch the dam, you see at that moment, it starts springing leaks. So we've got about another six or seven minutes until it bursts. It breaks exactly halfway through the loop. And now this achievement might take a few tries, so bear with me. If you were around when I was doing the rafting ones earlier, like, more power to you. <sighs> Sorry, I am trying to be responsive to my phone because I, I feel so loved. A lot of people are pretty worried about me. Ugh. So anyway, my day zero was Wednesday. I got sick Wednesday afternoon, evening-ish. So I'm on, like, by CDC isolation day count, I'm on day three. I guess I'm technically good to go on Tuesday because that'll be day six and I'm faxed and boosted, but I'm probably gonna kind of stay camped out mostly until day 10. I work remotely anyway, so who cares? Alrighty. Here we go. I don't have to enable the patrollers. Look at that! Baller! Oh man, if only I had figured that out 30 minutes ago! How much easier would life have been? Um, well, the CDC changed their guidelines like right around New Year's. And they say fully vaccinated people can stop isolating after day five as long as they're not sick anymore. All right. Let's wake up. All right. Now we are heading over to the third area. What we've done so far is open up two areas to raft access from outside. And, uh, I mean, the basic goal is to do the same thing again. Drop me in the water. Now getting to the third area is a little tricky. You gotta avoid this these first two branches. You gotta hold hard, hard, hard right. And get to this third path over here. Make 
make sure you catch this branch to the right. It's very easy to miss. So here we are. This is a cooler ring world than Halo, change my mind. Nah, I like Halo just fine. I just, you know, I've never been big on shooters. Let's die holding an artifact and get into the world that way. Now the watchers can't bother us, which is important. And I only have one shot anyway, because if I get caught, then I failed the achievement and I want to start the next loop anyway, so. Turned on a bridge. You can see, like, these things are hostile to me, but if you're paying attention to the environment, you can see they're, like, you know, they're not all bad. Like, look, this is clearly a stage where they played music for each other, like that kind of thing. notice this invisible bridge was shown to me in a slide reel much earlier if you're wondering how I know it's there all right time to activate this area's patrollers and open some doors okay here we go I think that's lethal fall damage. If I try to get down that way. One thing I'm not doing.
I think I screwed something up. Yeah, I definitely did. There's another invisible bridge. Not the one that I took back, unfortunately. Got me. Oh well. And the loop starts over. Because I was dead in the real world. It's alright, it's alright. I just took the wrong bridge. mentioned they love the soundtrack of this game. I think it was Rory earlier, but I also <laughs> love the soundtrack of this game. Like this little banjo airy sort of space exploration theme is cool and honestly I think End Times Supernova song, I think it's a I think it's a goddamn banger. I love that song. Every time it starts playing you're like, alright, this loop's over. Might as well listen to this awesome song. This is chill. If we can, let's find a campfire and roast a marshmallow. I'm really sad my title didn't update. I felt so clever. I I called the stream uh, seeking a friend for the end of the universe. So I think I mentioned this earlier, but one thing that I learned much earlier in the base game before today's stream is that uh, I, uh, it is not just my solar system sun that's going supernova. We are essentially living the final 22 minutes of the universe before its inevitable heat death. Terra, hello! Oh, it's so good to see you. How are you? Probably better than me, as long as you're, if your body is not currently riddled with COVID. Well, hello, Grim, and thank you for the follow. Um, I am, I am actually very near the end of both the expansion and the base game. Um, I've got, I've got a full ship log from the base game, like so much so I even got the archaeologist achievement. I have not yet done what I know I need to do. Like I know that to likely, likely to finish the game. I know I need to take the warp core from the Ash Twin project and take it to Dark Bramble and go to the coordinates from the core of Giant's Deep, but uh, I haven't done it yet because I have some anxiety about it and I wanted to play the expansion first. And now at this point, I've been to all three Forbidden Archives in the expansion and I'm doing a little achievement hunting. I'm trying to get ghosts in the machine before I finish the expansion story and then go and finish the main game. I have, I like, I, I am hopeful that I'll be able to do all of that today. It kind of depends how long the achievement takes. It's 
once I get this, like, it's, it's a cakewalk, like, I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen when I, <coughs> start messing with the, um, uh, like, the last thing I learned that I think is, uh, what I need to do, because I, like, like I said, I've been to all three archives, and I've found that they, they burned out all the codes to open the vault. So I don't know, I don't know what's in there, and I know I can't get in legit, so to speak. But I've also learned about all the glitches. Like, the last one I learned about was, um, jumping off a raft during an area transition. So, we'll, uh, we'll employ that. But first, because I am, one might say, obsessively aggressively all the lees all the adverbs uh, completionist I am a, I am a person who goes for all the achievements and so far I have 29 out of 31 the ones I am missing are um, beginner's luck which I can just go do you know by starting a new starting a new expedition after I finally do finish the game and uh, Ghosts in the Machine. And when I started this stream, we spent about two hours unlocking uh, Tubular and um, Around the World in 90 Seconds. Like, it was hard. But I got him! I joined the elite 0.3% of players who have Tubular. <laughs> which, I thought, which I was pretty excited about. I'm gonna catch up on chat right quick. Oh, well, I mean, and Tara, regarding my illness. As I've been telling everyone who asks, um, I sound much worse than I feel. Like, I'm on, by, by the CDC definition, you know, where day zero is the day you develop symptoms, um, I'm on day three. I had a fever the very first night on Wednesday night, but the fever was already gone when I woke up Thursday morning, and I uh, have since had, I would call it like a moderate cold, like it, it's not minor enough to be called mild, but it's not the worst I've ever had either, it's not severe, like right now I'm only sick from about here up, like I've got a lot of throat crud, I still cough sometimes, and the main thing I've had really is just terrible, terrible headaches. Uh, which I hear is actually pretty common with Omicron. My girlfriend is texting me. So, um... Her mom ended up going with her, and I am, like I said, I am I'm very happy to be with all of you. You are definitely easing my COVID isolation. Um, I would rather be in New York City with my girlfriend. We were going to go to the Hugh Jackman Sutton Foster Music Man on Broadway tonight, and she's taking her mom instead, which I think is pretty sweet. But uh, I didn't get to go, and that makes me sad. All right, let's wake up. We opened up raft access. We went ahead and opened the bridge as well. Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, Grim, I have a feeling I have a few more failures in my future before I succeed, so, uh... 
the next loop I'll uh, I'll show you my ship log. Okay, so the next is over here. So, important information from the last loop. I don't have to activate the patrollers yet. I want to turn on the raft. I can just do that. Talk about helpful. Oh, Tara, thank you for the host. I appreciate you. Goodness, it has been a minute, hasn't it? All right, let's wake up. <gasps> That'll do her. Right, now we're gonna head to the Endless Canyon. All right, now. Who's actually better for going to the Hidden Gorge? Like, probably you. I need to try and make sure I depart on this side. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, much better. Much easier. Into the dream world again. For good. Or until the next loop when I inevitably fail. Alright. 
first steps, same as last loop. Activate the bridge. Takes me back there. Okay. Let's go back this way. I think there's another invisible bridge somewhere. That I'm not adequately comprehending the existence of. Let's go back through here. <sighs> so I believe there's another invisible bridge somewhere. done yet is made it down to that elevator. do is go find the uh the reels again it is very dark it's kind of the mechanic though you know it's like the whole idea
That's not really what I wanted to do. Damn it. Got me. Time to try again. Alrighty, well, time for another attempt. What I'm struggling with is how to get to the raft from the hidden gorge, like, earth, from the endless canyon. Like, I know everything else. So... moment, I'm going to need to take a break and call my girlfriend, get the report from New York City, but first, I'm going to do the things I know how to do, the stuff I've been nailing, which is, you know, everything before the patrollers show up.
Get an artifact. Go, go, go. Move fastly. Move as fast as you can. Hello, Moonshine. Welcome back. After a long break, it's so good to see you. Now we can get here from the raft. While we're here, it's reasonable to activate this big bridge. Because the patrollers are still dormant. Now, it's time to wake up. <gasps> Off to the second location. Definitely getting better at rafting. <laughs> For whatever it's worth. This near the very end of everything. Same thing here. We're just gonna go to sleep. We're gonna activate rafting.
And we're gonna go right back to sleep. Or not back to sleep. We're gonna wake right back up. There we go. And now we're off to the hidden gorge. Hmm. Oh no, my nose is leaking. Farewell, Raft. We hardly knew ye. Enter the dream world one more time. And the reason I'm entering this for real time by dying instead of by going to sleep is because being dead means the watchers don't bother me cameras that ring the bell, which is pretty great. All right, we're almost through everything I've successfully done so far. Just a little bit more. And then I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to call my girlfriend. <coughs> so it might actually be a sizable break. But then again, maybe not. She is in New York. I'm sure she got. She and her mom must have plenty to do. But once that's done, uh, I'll be back. Hopefully, to victory. Rat, good to see ya. I'm on day three of COVID isolation. <sighs> okay. So now I am, and unfortunately, right as you arrive, um, I am going to take a little break. Like, I'm, I'm going to leave the stream running. I'm not pausing the stream or anything, but I'm going to go give my girlfriend a call, talk with her a minute, and uh, then I will be back. So this... Could be a sizable break, honestly. We'll see. Uh, but I'll be right. I'll I'll be back. I won't say right back. I'll be back. Please, uh, you know, don't bail on me thinking it's over.
Come on, River. That was much shorter than even I anticipated. I did bring the dog back inside. Okay. Okay, so... The hidden bridge is over here, and the one I was missing. So it is. Amazing. Okay, so... That'll get us to the, uh... The raft in a minute. First we need to access this hidden archive, or forbidden archive. Okay. Go, go, go. It's another invisible bridge. Boom! Made it. Alright. Okay. to make certain it counts as a visit. I'm gonna do this right quick. All right, very good. So we gotta head back. Oh no, he got me. I thought I did so good. Where was he? Damn it. All right, well, you live, you learn. Oh, we got to be more careful in there. Get good, scrub. Let's go.
All aboard! Needs must I get good. tree line. Hug it. Okay. Gotta repeat the setup again. It's fine. It's just fine. Get in there. That one's done. I'm definitely learning. <laughs> I'm definitely memorizing this path, at least. Wake up. <gasps> Off to zone two. If I'm talking less than you're used to, it's because I am sort of trying to rest my voice. It's not nearly as bad as it was earlier in the course of my illness, but it's still a bit of a strain. <coughs> Excuse me. Gross. Tara, I didn't. I forgot to acknowledge your go pats, but as little as I care about football, sure, go pats. Don't be bringing any non avalanche hockey teams into my stream. That, that will offend me. 
Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. I've really got to blow my nose. Come here. Hi. Hello. Oh my goodness, hi. Here's the polar bear dog. She's just chilling in here with me since mommy's in New York. Same thing. Let's wake up. <gasps> All right, well, the good news is I did find out, figure out where the hidden bridge is. I feel like the rest is honestly going to be pretty easy after that. We'll see, I suppose. Third and final one, here we go. Committing once again to spending our loop this way. Yahoo! Yahoo! Light faster, candles. Alrighty. Alrighty now. Up we go, up we go. Over and around. Yeah, over here, we open the doors and turn on the bad guys. They're probably not bad. They're probably just afraid. All 
Alrighty, here we go. Let's do it. And from here, we just head right down. It's crazy. It's awesome. Shaboomy. All right, Archive One. This is where I got ganked last time, so... Oh gosh. Let's learn from our mistakes. Let's be a bit more careful. Let's maybe give the homes a little more time. Oh man, I got ganked again. Where did he come from? I even shined my light around and I never freaking saw him. It's terrible. I think I'm going to start, um, well, I don't know. I obviously need to be more careful when I get to that part, but, um, I mean, I even shone my light over there and I didn't see him. I saw one like on the floor above me, which is why I paused. And, uh, I think I'm going to try just keeping it completely concealed, seeing if that works for me. I don't think so. This game does not do scripted stuff. Like, at all. Like, everything is rooted in physics and the time loop. No, I, I, I don't think it's scripted, Karis.
me double sneaking. I'll do my best. I mean, once I get out of that one... There's one that has no enemies at all. After the dam breaks, which will be nice. The third one could still be trouble. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Gotta manage the first one first. We wake up. <gasps> Mother Taffer. <laughs> I might have to start using that in real life. Not waste time dozing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, excuse me. And that's a bit of what's been happening. Very nice. All right. Oh. It's good coffee. Really good coffee. What is it Kyle McLaughlin says in Twin Peaks? Agent Dale Cooper. It's a damn fine cup of coffee. All right. Once more under the breach. I guess as I think about it, the pursuers probably are actually trying to kill me, like, because as far as they know, everyone's physical bodies are dead, and when they blow out your lantern like that, they know that they're uh, killing your mind. So maybe they are a little more... Uh, hostile and antagonistic than I was thinking. I like lights. They're nice and pretty. Alright. already done this a couple times now. Down the invisible bridge. Getting here is just fine. Okay, here we are. Archive one, once again.
I think that was scripted. That is scripted! Maybe I just need to go, like, extra fast. That was totally scripted. I had my light concealed and he just ganked me anyway. I mean, good thinking, Karis. I'm... I'm glad you put that on my radar. All right, let's try speed. Let's try reckless speed. See if that works. Why can't I autopilot? There. Something weird happened. What? Oh, I accidentally targeted something besides the stranger. What's going on? I wasn't locked onto the stranger, that's what. Maybe. We shall see. Oops. I brushed the ghost matter. Don't want to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. I'm getting a little tired of this. <laughs> right about now, I'm wishing I could create some kind of in-loop checkpoint to avoid repeating all this busy work every time I fail, but we do it for the achievements. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I do think what we're doing now is at least more interesting than the rafting achievements at the beginning of the stream were, and yet I recognize this is also getting kind of repetitive. That, that's just because I keep failing at getting past this guy. finish this coffee and I don't want to risk a major spillage while I do it there we go And now part three once again. It's a matter of finding the tripwire. Yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, my intention this time is just to go as fast as I freaking can. Because so far, every time he's gotten me has been, like, when I hesitated, right? Or when I tried to sneak. Now knowing that he is scripted, that, that he is going to turn on his light... I need to just get past him. Or her. I don't want to misgender the alien owl creature. Maybe it is a girl. Maybe we should call her Karen. All right. 
right, here we go. <gasps> Phase one. Bridge, activate. Phase two. Open. Bad guys, activate. Phase three. Secret bridge. Sprint to the archive. Maybe it's not totally scripted. I think it is, though. I heard him yell at me even though I didn't see his light turn on. Here we go. Archive one, success. Success. Reckless speed. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink. Stress level actually goes up when you succeed. It's like, okay, we're in uncharted territory. We're making progress. It's like getting through a Dark Souls obstacle, but you haven't found the uh, you haven't found the next bonfire yet. Like you are not at a checkpoint. All right, come to me, raft. Huh. 
Hop aboard. Off we go. Skip this one. That's where the actual big fucking vault is. And I want to disembark at this pier. I haven't actually heard the dam break yet. But, which means I'm making good time. This is the one where I will be able to proceed unopposed once the dam breaks. This is, this is just a pit stop. Oh, you know what? The dam might have broken and I wouldn't have heard it because I'm dead in the real world. So I'm looking for the owl person and I'm not seeing him. Oh, that is... That is some ridiculously cool attention to detail. Well done, Outer Wilds devs. Yeah, I can't hear the dam break in the real world because I'm dead. That actually makes perfect sense. But dam has broken because these guys are already gone. Oh, that is magnificently clever. I love rock solid attention to detail like that. It's so good. All right, well, okay, this is the easy one then. Straight through the fireplace. Here's library two. came for this one.
Now the big advantage of me being dead is that uh, I'm going to be immune to the bells in the second zone. Like they will have no effect on me at all. Or in the final zone, rather. Alright, let's make our way back. Through here. Summon a raft. Disembark. Right, so the great news this time Ironclad, thank you so much for the resub. Thirty six months, that is three entire years. I can hardly believe it. I appreciate it so much, my friend. I realize, like, I've explained a few times why streaming is so difficult lately, just in terms of the logistics of it, and YouTube is easier to keep up with, but it's really nice to be here with all of you today. Thank you so much for the resub. All right, here we go. All right. So what's nice about the all what's nice about being uh, dead in the real world is that I don't have to uh, in this last zone, I don't have to deal with the pursuers at all. Makes things downright easy. Flash at me all you want. Can't do a damn thing. All right, now this one. Oh no, my loop is ending. Go, 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 go. My loop is ending, but I'm at the third library. Oh, come on.
That's another really nice detail. How subdued the track is. Boom! Achievement unlocked. Ghosts in the machine. Holla! We got it! Alright. Let's go ahead and dot. Let's go ahead and start the next loop. Uh, let me have a little breath. Boom. 30 out of 31. Ghosts in the machine reach all three forbidden archives in a single loop without getting caught. It sounds like I've mastered the expansion. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what that means. It is time to actually do the story. Two endings. We're going to do the expansion, and then we're going to do the base game. And I'll probably do the base game twice. I will, uh, I will start the... I'll start a new loop so I can go ahead and get beginner's luck and clear that final achievement. But I'll do it after the character I've been on this whole journey with uh, sees it through to the end.